Alright, so the apartment complex I lived in was called Eden of Whitehall. And uh, they got spots everywhere. Don't mind my ashy hands. I've been living kind of rough lately. But yeah, they said, you know, if you have a case against you, which I do, and I go to tomorrow, I caught a misdemeanor, uh, that uh, you automatically need to leave. And then they gave me a three-day notice. I was, I was like, where am I going to go in three days? Like, honey, they was like, get a storage unit. We don't care. You know, like they really didn't care. Then I had my lawyer call him and my lawyer was like, yeah, they're being difficult. Like, so, you know, I'm a whole veteran too. And that didn't stop them at all. Like they were very, very mean and they've been doing tricky stuff. They've been doing tricky stuff and everybody knows. And being that I lived there so long, I think they really wanted me to leave. Like they want everybody to leave who's been there for a while so they can, you know, raise the rent. They can put in new refrigerators and stuff and then, you know, raise the rent and then have you pay, you know, extra money for the countertops. You pay like $35 extra a month to have, you know, a particular type of countertop there. You know what I mean? But, um, uh, I'm going to say for the majority of time, uh, it was cool, but the problem was they didn't do anything. They won't do anything about a tenant that's messing with you. So that's basically what happened. The tenant kept messing with me for years. And then he, he was, you know, messing with my tires. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's how I make my bread. And then he cut my brakes. You know what I'm saying? He smashed my windows. He put a dent in this truck that I'm in. I have two trucks. He just kept putting dents in my truck. And as long as the police don't see it, uh, or nobody sees it, then police can't do nothing about it because I called the police. You know, and all this stuff. And then he would park his car to where he knew somebody would hit it. My other neighbor hit his car. He called the police on me and the cops said, this man didn't hit your truck. He comes back out. Boom, puts another dent in my car. Uh, he would go on my patio and throw eggs on my patio. Kill my plant. Just, it smashed my patio uh, glass table. Just tear stuff up, you know, so... Don't move there because they're not going to do anything about the tenants that are messing with you. As a matter of fact, we're starting to believe that they're paying these tenants because they're really protecting them. Uh, people are believing now because there have been a lot of people who've moved out because of these particular tenants. And the one woman that lives there, she went and smeared dog poop all over another neighbor's door. And when they saw that, they, they up and got the hell out of there. So that's what these people do. They harass you and harass you. And, and every time we argue, they would say, you need to move. Well, why don't you move? So we're starting to think that the apartment complex has people uh, in these places to harass other people who's been living there for a while just to get them to move so they can make money. And even when I called Eden a while, I said, listen, these people are messing with me. They didn't do anything. And I told the one lady and she said, we're not going to go and talk to anybody about anything. And if you mess with those people, you're going to be in trouble. And then when I finally talked to the manager, I was like, listen, you know, these people are this, that, and the third. He was like, we just don't go up to people and start talking. I'm like, y'all don't. Y'all don't really care, you know. They're like, three-day notice, get out, because the police, you know, made a report against you. Get out. You've been living here for over 10 years. You know, get out. You've been a great tenant. Get out. You don't bother nobody. Get out. They didn't even want to hear. He didn't even care about my situation. And these people are still living there. So, Eden of Whitehall, if you move into Eden of Whitehall and you get into it with one of your neighbors... I'm telling you now, if you've been living there for a while, they're going to kick you out because they just don't care. And that's what happened to me. I even paid my rent on the first. I got my notice on the second. And I was like, you know, but I haven't even been to court yet. I'm not found guilty or nothing. They're like, it doesn't matter. P police made a report against you. You need to get out, you know, for a misdemeanor. You, you know. So I'm just telling you, if you guys get a, you know, move in there and you get into any mix with the police, or um, pol police make a report on you, start moving. It ain't going to happen right away. It'll take them about a month 
uh, if you go to jail for a night or two, start moving because don't get caught up like I did thinking, you know, this whole thing is schmear over. It's a misdemeanor, whatever. Oh, no. Start moving. Get your stuff together. Start making plans right away because they're going to hit you with a three day notice. And if you don't move, they're going to give you an eviction and then you have to fight the eviction process. I live by myself. Nobody helped me move. I had a townhouse. I moved everything in th within the three days time that they gave me. Uh, I just started throwing stuff in the front yard, like boom, boom, boom. Uh, I had to spend a night in my, you know, my car. Uh, a lady let me live in her basement for one day. And she was like, you know, my husband feels some kind of way. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, I kind of knew that was going to happen. So, you know, boom. Then I just got from this extended stay, which I'm in the parking lot now. And now I'm heading to an Airbnb. So listen, save your pennies. If you get into it with somebody and you and eat in the Whitehall and you live in their apartment place, save your money because they're going to kick you out on the street and uh, make sure you, you know, start making plans. And, you know, if you got some friends who are landlords, keep their numbers because it's going to come in handy. I'm out.